By now you've heard about 3i Atlas, the interstellar comet discovered last July that's been making headlines across the astronomy community. But here's what the headlines aren't telling you. After five months of observation by the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, and observatories worldwide, this object has accumulated 10 separate anomalies that defy conventional explanation, 10 statistical improbabilities, 10 behaviors that contradict our understanding of comets, and last week, the most troubling of all, 3i Atlas accelerated itself near the Sun, requiring the ejection of 5 billion tons of material, and left absolutely no trace behind. Let's examine the evidence. Start with the trajectory. 3i Atlas entered our solar system aligned to within 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, where Earth and all our planets orbit. For a random interstellar object, the probability of this alignment is 0.2%. But the timing was even more precise. It passed Mars exactly when ESA's Mars Express could photograph it. It will reach Jupiter next March, perfectly positioned for NASA's Juno spacecraft. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calculated the odds, 0.005%, one chance in 20,000. And its size, 3i Atlas measures up to 5.6 kilometers across, a million times more massive than Oumuamua, our first confirmed interstellar visitor. Think about that. We've discovered three interstellar objects. The third happened to be a million times larger than the first. Statistically, we should have found a million small objects before one this large. The probability, less than 0.1%. Three separate statistical anomalies, all three together, the odds become astronomical. On August 6, the James Webb Space Telescope captured detailed spectra of 3i Atlas. What it revealed was chemistry that shouldn't exist. The comet showed a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 7.6 to 1. Typical solar system comets show ratios closer to 1 to 1. 3i Atlas is 4.5 standard deviations above normal, meaning this chemistry has less than a 0.003% chance of being a natural variation. This is one of the highest CO2 to water ratios ever recorded. Webb also detected extreme abundances of nickel and iron in the gas. At cometary temperatures, metallic grains containing these elements cannot vaporize. Yet there they were in concentrations that made no sense. The explanation? 3i Atlas spent over 7 billion years in interstellar space, older than our entire solar system. Cosmic rays transformed its outer surface into something unlike any comet we've studied. If confirmed, this means we're seeing material from a planetary system that formed under completely different conditions than our own. Every assumption about how solar systems work might need revision. But here's the problem. If radiation transformed the surface, we should see massive outgassing when the sun heats it. Instead, we got silence. October 29th, 3i Atlas reached its closest approach to the sun, 203 million kilometers. At this distance, the sun delivers 770 watts per square meter to the surface. For weeks, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory detected something remarkable. 3i Atlas began accelerating in ways gravity alone couldn't explain, both radial and transverse acceleration, changing speed and direction. For a natural comet, there's only one explanation, outgassing. Ice jetting into space like a rocket engine. But here's the physics. To produce JPL's measured acceleration, 3i Atlas needed to eject 13% of its total mass. For an object several kilometers across, that's over 5 billion tons. Ask yourself, if you lost 13% of your body weight overnight, would anyone notice? Then how does a comet lose 5 billion tons and leave no trace? Images from November 5th, one week after perihelion, show 3i Atlas as a compact ball with a modest coma, no massive debris cloud, no spectacular tail. Compare this to Comet Lemon photographed the same week by the same telescope. Brilliant tail, clear outgassing, exactly what you'd expect. Then on November 8th, Something changed. Complex jet structures appeared, some reaching a million kilometers toward the sun, others extending three million kilometers away. These jets appeared suddenly. They showed geometric complexity rarely seen, and their velocities fell into an uncomfortable range, faster than natural outgassing, but consistent with propulsion systems. Let me be direct. Most planetary scientists believe 3i Atlas is a natural comet. The consensus is strong, but science advances by explaining anomalies, not ignoring them. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb developed the Loeb scale, 0 to 10, measuring how likely an interstellar object is to be artificial. 0 means definitely natural, 10 means definitely artificial. 3i Atlas ranks 4 out of 10. The conventional explanation, it formed where CO2 was abundant, spent billions of years being altered by radiation, and the missing debris will appear in future observations. 
Every anomaly has an explanation, we just need more data. That's entirely possible. Probably even correct. But we've never seen chemistry like this. Never seen a comet accelerate without visible outgassing. Never tracked an object with this many improbabilities stacked together. Carl Sagan said extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. He was right. But he also said somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. What if we're looking at it right now? As I record this, 3i Atlas is moving away from the sun at 200,000 kilometers per hour. On December 19th, it makes its closest approach to Earth. Every major observatory is tracking it. We're watching an object that traveled 7 billion years through space, pass through our corner of the galaxy. For the first time in history, we have the technology to read its biography. Whether it's a natural comet with unprecedented chemistry or something we don't have words for, one truth remains, the universe is far stranger than we imagined. And maybe we're finally developing the wisdom to admit when something doesn't fit our models? Because that's when the real science begins.